We're back, Paul Gillen with Rob Strachey here at the Red Hat Summit and Ansible Fest 2023 in Boston. And we've been talking a lot about digital analytics, uh, about how data is transforming organizations. And we have a company here that's, that's walking the walk. Uh, joining us right now, Banco Galicia out of, uh, Gali did I pronounce that correctly? Galicia. Banco Galicia. Galicia, uh, out of Argentina. Uh, Erico Bemmer is the Chief Information Officer. Victoria Martinez is the Latin American Manager for Business Development for Data Science at Red Hat. And uh, the bank has recently completed, uh, you've been a Red Hat customer for a long time, I see you've several case studies uh, on Red Hat site about the bank. Uh, you recently, recently completed a digital onboarding initiative. Uh, tell us what the objective, what was the goal of that initiative and, and why did you make the investment at this point? Okay, well, uh, uh, Banco Alicia is a 100% uh, Argentinian capital banks. Um, in back in, in, in 2019, uh, we were facing uh, an ambitious to grow our market shares in the corporate sec uh, sector. So we, we, we had a really manual process in the onboarding uh, because there is a lot of information and papers and documents that we have to process manually to onboard a company, you know, status, um, Power of, uh, power of attorneys, these kind of documents that are all papers, paperwork. So the, the, the whole process to onboard a company, uh, it was more or less to, to 20 days average. Um, so it was really tough for us, uh, for us. It was an expensive process. And of course, we, we, we used to, to lost a lot of opportunities in companies that abandoned the process in the middle because of the time. So we, we realized that we, we had to, to work uh, deeply in, an, in a new solution in order to shorten that time uh, and to, to improve our customer experience. How, how did you really look at, did you look at, I guess, did you really look at the whole process? And I, I think, again, you, you brought in Red Hat, and as Paul was saying, you have a long relationship. How did you work together? Uh, to really get through this, because when I went and looked at the little case study, there's a lot of technology there, not just OpenShift for data science. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, and I think there, what will be interesting to the folks watching is they're just starting their AI journey. And I, I think, to your point, you, you have a really good use case, I think, that you started with kind of that use case. What was it that Red Hat helped you with in, in getting started and getting going with that? Well, to, to be honest, this project uh, began uh, a time before that. Um, we were trying with, with different technologies, more, more closed, more black boxy technologies. So we, we had a couple of attempts uh, failing and we, we were really frustrated because we, we, we wanted and we believed that using NLP technologies, uh, we could reach uh, the, the digitalization we wanted. So at that time, uh, the, the Red Hat consultant team came up with a solution uh, to, to change the whole stack that we were using and to, uh, to start building the, the project over uh, OpenShift. We were using OpenShift for, for a long time. Uh, we had almost 25 clusters right now uh, with 300 projects, 15,000 pods running uh, every time. So we were really excited to, to, to change this, the technology stack and to start building with a different mindset, with an open source mi mi mindset. Um, so that's why uh, how, how we started. Victoria, describe the process by which you become involved with a project like this. Uh, does the bank come to you and say, this is what we want to do and how will you help us? Or how, where were they in their uh, in their journey when when you became involved? Yes, yeah, so, so. <laughs> we'll start with these uh, two fail attempts. Um, a particular need with the digitalization, with NLP. Um, we share this vision with our world, with the open source technology, um, bringing these workloads with uh, machine learning, the models, and the data stuff on the containers. This uh, was a, a new way to concept this vision with the AI technology, because when we start, was a different reality. 
today we have the trendy topic with ChatGTP, with the AI. We are living in the in the boom, but that these those years <laughs> ago, uh, we share a new vision and a different thing with a, with the project. We want to build the capability with NLP in the bank. Not only a project, not only uh, uh, solve a use case. And was totally different with the another experience because uh, there, are, there was close and um, the thing with the compliance and the customers, very sensitive with the data, and all the solution is on-prem. We share this new vision, uh, start with a little um, use case and with a little MVP, and then we large to all the onboarding process. So you built the NLP from scratch? Yes. Yourself? What, what role does NLP play now in the onboarding process? Well, it's one of the central pieces of the, the whole process because, uh, you know, to, to analyze the whole document and paperwork um, today needs uh, different technologies like AI. So the process is more or less in, 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 in four parts, you know, steps. The first step is the, the processing of the images with computer vision, the libraries and plugins in order to clean the images, uh, I don't know, uh, delete the stamps, rotate, uh, change contrast of the, of the documents, in order to the second step, which is the OCR, to, to capture better uh, each letter. Then is the magic of the NLP, um, trying to put the letters together to, to form words, and using, of course, uh, natural language processing, and uh, to complete words with letters that we missed during the OCR process. And at the end is the entity recognition and mapping that uh, close the, the whole machine process uh, in order to, to capture name of the company, uh, name of the powers of journeys, uh, I don't know, the activity of the company, balance sheets, process all the whole balance sheets, healthy situation of companies. And those kind of information is all unstructured in just images, PDF files. So this is the, the important thing regarding to, to AI, which is not simply to use another technology to do that. Yeah, it, it, it seems like you started right, sounds like right before the pandemic yeah. hit, and it would seem that this became probably more, you know, even more important during that, because then you didn't have, you would have less people involved in the entire process. Yeah. Did that help accelerate the investment that the bank made into this project? I actually, as you, as you told, the project began before pandemic, and during the pandemic was one of the, the you know, the key pieces to, to, to maintain the growing, and growing by the time, um, because by the time we were releasing uh, the first step of the project and automating the whole um, process end to end, and yeah, well, it was de definitely a, a key success factor to, in order to, to keep our growing, and to maintain, you, you know, the customer satisfaction and, and uh, well, yeah, the satisfaction of our cu customers uh, during the pandemic was, was really tough for, for people and for companies too. Right. And you chose to uh, use a number of cloud native constructs in building this, You're using APIs, containers, um, OpenShift, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, what, what benefits do you expect to realize over the longer term from using these cloud native constructs? Well, in, in one hand, you know, to, to, to build with cloud native technologies uh, in containers, uh, nowadays it's running on-prem, but for example, one of the, 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 the troubles we faced during the project was we couldn't re reach the computational power to train the models. So it was easy to move th those components to the cloud use uh, power, cal, um, uh, power consumption, and then go back to our on-prem in order to apply the models uh, already trained. So I think that the, the, this is the, the, the facility and the, you know, the, the benefits of, of clouds. Yep. And in the other hand, um, we build a, a, a platform, uh, API-oriented, so by the time 
nowadays, ChatGPT on other technologies that we can plug in and, and renovate, you know, the modern side technology using different kinds of components, new ones to try different NLP models. Of course, uh, GPT to, uh, to recognize uh, new entities or words. So it's a, like, like, like a Lego, like a Lego system. Yeah, it seems that uh, that flexibility and the ability to burst up into the cloud when you needed to do the big training portions of it also would help you be more efficient in how you use your resources on premise. But is that something that you look to continue to do? Is that, so as you, like you said, build another part to the Lego, add another Lego block in, are you using, still doing that bursting uh, to certain, to cloud to go and do that? Well, we, we have, a, of course, our uh, journey to the cloud, okay. uh, as many, many companies. Uh, as we are a, a bank, uh, we are a regulated um, company, so we, we are trying to, to move uh, consistently, but security. So we are adopting different parts of the cloud. Uh, by, by the time, at the same time, we are rebuilding and re-architecture our channels, for example. So, so yes, we are expanding the, the possibilities to, to move this these technologies and to keep growing and growing, uh, scaling to the to the public cloud. Uh, Victoria, as someone who works with, the, who knows the Latin mar American market very well, can you contrast what is the state of open source uh, in Latin America compared to North America? Is it any different? No. <coughs> uh, the innovation is in the, the in the communities and the, in the open source. Um, this globalization that we live. Uh, don't have uh, a, a gap mm -hmm. be, be, between us, between Latin America or North America or the Eu Europeans. Uh, we live uh, a new way to concept the technology and to interact with the users, uh, with the velocity. Um, it's the same for every country, for the complete world <laughs> for the global thing. Uh, there is the same need. Hmm. We are living in a new era, and we we need to accelerate this thing and improve with open source. And we in Red Hat trying to accelerate the use cases with machine learning ops, with OpenShift data science, and the new with OpenShift AI, mm -hmm. uh, trying to connect the, the new st technology stack for the delivery and application and uh, intelligent application with models and machine learning and AI. Uh, you heard about OpenShift AI at the, uh, at the summit uh, this week. Do you, what's your reaction to it, uh, Erico? Is it something that you would plan to adopt quickly, or perhaps you already have? Well, I, actually, we we start uh, we we begin building this this project before the OpenShift AI exits. Uh, but we we are really excited to to, to try new technologies uh, to go further. You know, so well to, to the, these days there was a lot of um, lunches like AI, uh, Ansible Automation, with even Driven. Uh, so we are really excited to, to, to try all those technologies to, to improve the, the modernization of the company. Yeah. It, it seems like this is a, a, you're actually well ahead of even some of the ones that I've talked to in the US where they're still trying to figure out their cloud journey in the financial services. I, I talked to a lot of even some of the largest banks in the US uh, haven't even gone to certain, like haven't moved to cloud databases or anything of that nature. Do you do you f uh, feel that you're way out there on the edge or do you feel like you have this all under control because of the help you've gotten out of Red Hat? Um, actually, we we say that we, we, have, we have our our own pacing, so we, we are moving, you know, firm and security uh, but we are not no, no facing that it's it's under uh, out of control. You know, we are, we are controlling yeah. the technology and not the technology controlling us. <laughs> That's great. 
Well, it's a ter terrific story, and if you want to read more about it, it's on the Red Hat site, Banco Galicia Streamlines Digital Onboarding with AI Platform Built on Red Hat Technologies. There's a quite a bit of detail there about, about what they're doing, and uh, you are out on the, on the leading edge, whether you think of it or, or not. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Well, thank you very much, Paul and Rob, for the interview. Paul Gillen and Rob Strache at Red Hat Summit 2023. Wrapping up day two, we'll be back in a minute.